Hey guys, uh, today I'm going to show you how to replace the screen on an iPhone 11. So if you have a look at this, um, so we are going to replace, the touch is not working. So we are going to replace the screen here. So the first thing we use is Pentelope screwdriver and uh, undo the bottom screws, two of them. So that's the first one. And that's the second one. Now, what we use is we use a sesame tool. And then uh, we have to remove the bottom. So we just lift this one like this. And uh, I normally use my finger and open the screen. Right. And then that opens like a book. And normally, uh, if it's not coming easily, just give some, um, you can just use some heat. Um, and then uh, maybe what I'll do, I'll just put this one on a middle plate for a few minutes. And now let's try to pry this one up. Yep, that's it, done. So now, as you can see, um, these are all connections. I'll just give some support so that it just holds onto this. And what we need to do is like undo the the screws where the battery is connected. And organize the screws in such a way that you will um, easily able to get them back because some of the screws are different. Um, and that's the metal plate what it's holding with. Now, the next thing we need to do is like undo um, I hope you can see. So iPhone 11 is very popular in Australia. Um, I have seen iPhone 11. Um, we do a lot of repairs on this 11. Uh, for some reason, it's very popular. Uh, I don't know about other countries. Leave a comment if you know, like if it is uh, popular in your country. Um, The other thing which is uh, famous in Australia is coffee, as you can see. This is one of the best coffees we can have. Uh, so whenever you are in Australia, don't forget to try the coffee. Now, the first thing we need to disconnect is like, because the touch is not working, I won't be able to switch this one off. Um, so what I'll do, I'll disconnect the battery. Uh, sometimes it's a bit risky but we don't have any choice um, because the touch is not working so we can't disconnect um, the battery. Now what we do is like disconnect all the uh, connections and the screen is off. So the screen got three connections that's for the earpiece, this connection and these two are for the screen. So that's the old screen. Now I'll just heat up a little bit the screen um, so that we can take off um, Like we can remove the earpiece from the, the screen okay so i'll keep this one aside while we work on the old screen so let's get this one back so what we need to do is it uses phillips screwdriver to undo two screws so that's the first one that's the second one um, and also it's a combination of tri-point Y triple zero and the fillet. So there are a few screws missing on this screen, um, obviously because of the impact. Maybe the screws has been lost um, with the impact. So the, that's the old screen. So I'll just move this one aside. And what I'll do, I'll grab the new screen now. So with the new screen, um, you can, you know, like you can buy 
those screens so like um, every country is different um, so it's just like you need to know where you can get that screen from and make sure like you get the good quality screen uh, with iPhone there are like tons of aftermarket screens so you can just choose one of the aftermarket screens so that's our new screen so that's the packaging um, now what I'll do I'll remove the plastic here that's the first bit and that's the second bit and also try to remove the tape which is surrounded this one and also the, the trick I got here is like what normally I do is like I remove this um, uh, the earpiece holder I remove this and I'll, I normally use the old one because everything all the sensors are in place so you can just uh, like just you know put that one back straight in so you don't need to spend time in um, aligning everything so you can use the old one and uh, that's the Phillips screwdriver uh, sorry Phillips screws um, uh, that goes in and also the tri point and that's securely holding because there were only two screws I don't have extra screws here um, but if possible just try to give the customer all the screws back and you can uh, of course you can charge the customers for the screws because it's 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 cost money okay now the earpiece is back on uh, the new screen so what I'm gonna do is let's install the screen back okay so as you can see the way you do it is you just connect uh, the earpiece first that's it so that's connected and it just clicks in you can um, you can hear the voice uh, a small noise which um, which clicks in and now finally okay you need to connect the um, the screen before you connect the battery so the battery is the last one you need to connect now what we can do is we can uh, we can test the screen now let's try to turn it on wow you know the apple logo once you get the apple logo you mean like the repair is successful Perfect. Let's see. The touch was not working before. Now let's see. Yeah, that works perfectly fine. Now you can just test few numbers. Uh, I don't have the pin number, um, but you don't need a pin number. The only thing you should test is like as long as it works perfectly. Yeah. The sensor works. And and everything works perfectly fine. Now let's get back to this. So the bottom metal plate is a bit tricky. Uh, so once you put this one in, use the try point. okay so everything is back now so the way we put this one on is like always start from the top align it properly on the top and then what you do once it's aligned on the top you just press at the bottom 
and just it should make a crunchy noise that's it and it just got everything in there and now the final step the final step is to the put uh, uh, the petal of screws back in So as you can see, that's our final uh, product with a brand new screen. And uh, uh, thanks for watching guys and uh, please subscribe to our channel and uh, uh, we will be posting more repairs and also a few important tips um, whenever we can. Thank you.